Hey, my name is Ashay West, and you're watching Project Dialogue, where we talk about things that you should and should not give a flying fuck about. Here with me today... Hi, I'm Axel. I'm Jamila Mullen. And I'm Anthony Antoine. We're about to talk. Talk, talk, talk. Okay, so today... I saw this crazy story on PerezHilton.com where um, a man goes into the hospital to get a circumcision and ends up coming out without a penis. <laughs> I, I have questions. First of all, I need to know... What? Where is his penis? <laughs> like, yeah, where? <laughs> Who took it? Who took it? How was the whole penis lost? <laughs> well, from, from, from what I read, actually, he just woke up. And it was gone. Oh my and god, that's like a horror film. He he went and um, well, he it's never explained why he decided he felt it was necessary to get this done, um, but he I think he was there with his wife or with his girlfriend. Ooh, he was she there. Must have been mad. He was there she with somebody, some some girl. Um, apparently, it was also never explained to him the risks and possible complications associated with the procedure. And they, to, to, mm. to my understanding, they don't know what happened still. So if you were married to someone uh. and their sex organ was taken away, would you stay in that relationship? I mean, if I love him, I guess, but we got to work something. I mean, they make those things these days. Yeah. Uh -huh. technology. That can be fixed. The actually. truth is, is that so, marriage is supposed to be for better or for worse. worse. And so here you are. You're, you're faced with the worst. Mm. The worst. <laughs> talk about like grown folks marriages mm -hmm. is built on so much more than just sex and it's just so much more to it so yeah most definitely i'm in yeah, but let me tell you this but let me tell you this what i can tell you is this if i wake up and my penis is gone it's over for me i'm done i'll probably be depressed for life and um no i think that's it for me i'm checking out i'm <laughs> I mean, that's like the worst fate you can give a man. But can they, I mean, well, what happened to the, because they can reattach it. Remember the guy with the lady cut his But that was part of the story. Part of the lawsuit is that they didn't get, like, other doctors into, like, when something went wrong. All right, they didn't they consult. Didn't, they didn't mm -hmm. consult with other doctors, like, maybe there, it could have been reattached. I mean, I would so rather. So they just cut it off. I was like, oh, well. I, I would rather reattach them. penis than just no <laughs> penis at all. That's what I'm saying. My, I mean, how do we go from foreskin? I don't I mean to be graphic, but we grown. How do we go from maybe, that maybe it was, to entire... you know, <laughs> smaller than the penis? <laughs> 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 Which means that it wouldn't be too much of a problem anyway. And that little bit is gone. <laughs>